to Australia, Yuval Rotem spoke with Kieran Gilbert, our chief political reporter, a short time ago about the US president's vis visit to the Middle East. Ambassador, thank you very much for your time today. Uh, can I start by getting your reaction to President Bush's visit to Israel and his suggestion today that the occupation must end as part of any peace deal? Well, I don't think there is any more need to encourage Israel to withdraw from the West Bank. I mean, all, all of us has, have agreed in the region that the solution is very simple. It's two states for two people. And that means, uh, in the end of the process, having a, a Palestinian state emerge on the West Bank and Gaza Strip, and having uh, a Jewish state uh, have a secure borders in line in order to be able to defend itself and live peacefully side by side next to the Palestinians. Why do you think the US president made uh, such a statement during his, or after his talks with President Abbas? Uh, the president has made many statements while he was there in Israel and, and the Palestinian ter territories. And I think that uh, he's just tried all to put all Israelis and Palestinians understanding what does it mean and what is the price to have peace. While he was in Israel, he made a, a lot of reference to the need to stop terrorism by the Palestinians. And when he was in the, in the, in the West Bank, he of course makes some statements with respect to uh, what the Palestinian uh, would like basically to hear. But in the, end, in the end of the day, we know what's going to be the outcome. And I don't think that there is, a, there is any uh, uh, mainstream Israeli uh, that is not going to embrace these kinds of concept of two uh, states for two peoples. He made some comments uh, in relating to the rocket attacks from Gaza into Israel, suggesting that Mahmoud Abbas must uh, work to stop that. But how does he stop those attacks, given that Fatah, the party that he rules, doesn't even have control over Gaza? It's run by Hamas. The Palestinian needs to put an order in their own camp and in their own house. It's nothing that to do with us or with someone else. I mean, I think the president of the Palestinian Authority need to understand that when he comes to the table, he needs to come from a st for the standpoint of strength. And that means that he needs to speak on behalf of all the Palestinians. It's up to them to make an order in their own camp. In relation to the Annapolis peace talks more broadly, uh, the mood on the ground in Israel, ha having just returned from there, doesn't seem to be as optimistic as President Bush is, so that, that, that this process can be resolved within 12 months. Do you think it can be? We don't have the luxury not to believe that it can be resolved in one year. And I think that the fact that Prime Minister Ehud Olmert and the Chairman of Palestinian Authority has agreed to touch, for the first time, the outstanding issues on the table with respect to Jerusalem, refugees and borders, give some more indication for some hope, for some process in the upcoming weeks and months. In relation to Iran, the other big threat in, in the region, particularly when Israel is concerned, what's your feeling on, on that front? Uh, is a diplomatic solution still viable there? At this stage, everyone seems to be committed to the diplomatic measures in order to be able to contain the threat emanating from Tehran. But it's very important to remember for those people in those countries who have some reservations about non-diplomatic measures, they should be the first one to facilitate the diplomatic measures to work. And just finally, can I ask you about your reaction to our new government, uh, Prime Minister Kevin Rudd? How does Israel see the Rudd Labor government in comparison to the previous Howard government? I don't have any indication uh, to suggest to us there's going to be a change with respect to the Middle East policy and with respect to Israel. So you're, you're, you're positive about uh, the new Prime Minister and, uh, and his interest, his support of Israel? I'm 100% positive about that. Ambassador, thanks for your time today. Thank you. Gilbert in Canberra with the Australian Ambassador. Two young Australians are nearing the end of their epic kayaking adventure across the Tasman. James Castrian and Justin Jones.